Howdy, folks. It's great to be back with my friends and family. Thank you, thank you. Great to be back with friends and family with the open stage. Thank you guys so much. Speaking of family, I'm sure you all had uh, some great experiences with uh, with your family over the past holidays. I remember uh, remembering back on my uh, my early life and road trips with my four siblings, both parents, and sometimes my grandparents all in one van. No, it was actually quite good. Is is the road trips were not so bad. It was it was the the three times a week to church that was bad uh, because my sisters, you see, are about five six years sorry f- five and six years old. They're eight and nine years younger than me, and they get those those marvelous those marvelous lungs that start developing right about four five six seven years old, and so they would talk at each other while we were traveling. <laughs> you, you who know small children know exactly what I'm talking about. And the, in, those, in those piercing tones that only the best small child can do. To and from church, 15 minutes each way, three times a week, because growing up in a small town in Central Texas, if the church doors are open, you are there or you are apostate. <laughs> so, my brother and I did everything we could to to drown it out. Uh, we we played D and D all the time in the back because you know fifteen minutes is enough to clear a room if you're efficient, right? Damn straight. But uh, we were not allowed to play in the pews. No, absolutely not. Only before and after church in the car. Anyway, the uh, my sisters, I, I I realized this that that you know you can only tune them out so much before you know like like. Uh, not like water dripping through a stone, more like a diamond saw dripping through a stone. They get on your nerves very quickly. And, and I realized this, so I think, was the first inkling of the concept of engage for me. My sisters were just looking for attention. They just wanted to play a game like John and I were. So I say, hey, hey, girls, would you like to play a game? And she's like, my Anna, my youngest sister, she's about five years old. Beautiful, beatific smile. Imagine me without those whiskers and prettier. <laughs> she, she smiles and she says, yeah, let's play a game. And my so- sister Sarah, who's only a year and a half older, she is a bit more suspicious. She goes, I don't know, what's the game called? I say, it's a great game. I played it when I was your age. It's called Trickery and Deceit. Sis, my sister Sarah, this suspicious one, she says, I don't know, how is it played? Well, it, it has been a long time since I've since I played the game, so you need to be quiet for a minute. Let me try and see if I can remember the rules. <laughs> After about a month of this, my mom asks, comes up to me and says, David, I'm not entirely sure that I'm completely comfortable with you playing a game with my daughters that's called Trickery and Deceit. I said, well, Mom, do you want me to stop? No, I didn't say that. So this goes on to a little bit after Thanksgiving, about Thanksgiving, and then I realize that, you know, the the first Christmas lights of the season start popping up like flowers in the winter. And my five and six-year-old sisters are enamored by Christmas lights. Ooh, Christmas lights. And they're quiet while they do that, while they do that. Ooh. I became the Christmas lights bloodhound. You know, leaving out 10, 10 minutes in the country before we get to the town, five minutes through town to get to church. Um, there's, you know, a house in a hollow, a half mile off the, off the road, and there's just a little bit of the, of the window that's open, or the, 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 the roof that's outlined. Like, oh, look, girls, Christmas lights. Ooh. There's a single double Y that has the tackiest, flashing, <laughs> multicolored Christmas lights outlining one single window. Look, girls, Christmas lights. Ooh. 
the single stoplight in our town turns from red to green. Look, girls, Christmas lights. Ooh. The car in front of us brakes to turn. Look, girls, Christmas lights. Ooh. So I milk this till about daylight savings time. And, you know, it's, it's mostly light out as we're driving now, so I, so I figure it's like and they're, they're getting back into their diamond saw voices again, and, and, you know, I'm going as long as I can, trying not to yell at them because I have enough problems, you know, trying not to abuse my sisters in, at, at home normally, so, and, it, and it's just getting on my nerves, and I just remembered, oh, yeah, we haven't played the game in, like, six months. So I say, hey, girls, what? You want to play a game? My sister Anna, with the most beautiful beatific smile, perks up, grinning ear from ear, and says, yeah, let's play trickery and deceit. <laughs>